name is Caitlin from MissExclusive.com, and I'm hanging out here with, say your name and your birthday. Um, I'm Haley McFarland, and I my birthday is March 29th. Okay, and now to get to know you a little bit, say, your, what's your favorite color? I have blue. And your favorite number? Favorite number, that's, um, I think I did like one of those things, uh, 11, I think it's my favorite number. You know yeah, I think it's like my lucky number. <laughs> oh, okay, it's like you don't know. Like, <laughs> what, what's your lucky number, so. What's your, think, is that your favorite then now, is that just because it's lucky? I yeah. Guess. Okay. <laughs> um, what's your favorite word? There's a lot to choose, so I might understand, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I have to say, didgeridoo, because it's just fun to say. You know, for the longest time, I just threw that out there. Like, I just like, oh yeah, I'm going to go, I want a didgeridoo, you know, mm -hmm. like from the yeah. instrument from Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was always excited about it. So, so maybe someday I'll get one and learn to play it. <laughs> um, what's your favorite sport? Sport, I really like tennis. Do you watch it or do you play it? Or like um, well, my parents used to watch it a lot, and I try and play it, but I... Not, I'm not much of an athlete, but I, I can try. Okay, and then either or, texting or calling? Um, i probably say texting, because I'm really awkward when I talk on the phone. Like, it's it's just kind of a weird... <laughs> Do you text your parents? Yes. It, that's, that's also better. Like, I finally taught my mom how to text, so, like, when I'm hanging out with my friends, it's, you know, it's like, oh, one second, I gotta call my mom. Like, yeah. It's just kind of... She <laughs> texts in complete senses, because my mom doesn't seem to get it. No, Should. she'll yeah, she'll use like one word or like one letter for the beginning of each word, uh -huh. and and so it'll just be like a long string of letters that I can't understand what she's. Yeah, gotta look but into yeah, she's better at it than I am. She knows how to like put like smiley faces and stuff and everything. She <laughs> really parents. likes this. Yeah. Okay, so for either or, we normally do um, also MySpace or Facebook, but apparently you don't have a MySpace. No, I don't. I I I. I Facebook, and then we yeah. do Facebook or Twitter, but you don't have a Twitter either, so, no, so Facebook, Facebook wins. Yeah, Yay. both of those. Okay, and now it's probably the most important question you'll ever get in your entire life. Okay. That's a big one. Yeah. Which orange came first, the color or the fruit? Um, I'm thinking the fruit, because like, it is orange, so they... Everybody says that, but then again, what about like the rainbow? I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. I've kind of said it. <laughs> so tell me about the show you're on. Um, it's called Lie to Me, and it's on Fox, and it's about, um, well, the man who, it's about the guy who's my dad. Um, he's really good at the science of, uh, like, facial tics and stuff so you can tell when you're lying, and he has a company that, uh, people hire to, like, solve cases and stuff when you're lying. And, okay, so tell me about the character that you play and the daughter, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm his daughter, and I'm 16 in it, and. I'm pretty much just, you know, trying to assert my independence and, like, have my own secrets, and it's kind of hard because you can, like, tell every little, you know, lie that I tell, and it's hard to, you well, know, so navigate in, those waters. <laughs> in real life, if your dad could tell everything that you're lying about, how hard would that be? Um, well, I'm a pretty terrible liar, so, <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard for me to lie about anything. It's neat because it's, like, an actual science, because, um, Tim Roth, who played my dad, like he, um, there's a guy that it's based on. Uh, his name's Paul Ekman. I mean, he does like books and stuff, but all about. <laughs> so, are you, have you ever like have you picked up on any of the lie detecting skills? Um, the only <laughs> the only one I remember <laughs> is I don't know. I just think it's funny. Like when I guess sometimes when you're angry at somebody, sometimes you'll like gesture with your middle finger, like when you're talking about them or talking to them or. I mean, just like scratching your nose or your or your face, or yeah. Jeez, so I know that's, that's the yeah. only one that I know. So you're like, oh, are you mad at me? I'm like, no. Talk to me. I'm like, no, 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 no. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, tell me about your plans for 2009. Um, for 2009, I'm just uh, we just started the new season, the second season of Lie to Me, so I'm <laughs> just doing that. Right? Yeah. I mean, okay. Obviously, you're young. Like, how did you get started in well, I started out doing musical theater first in uh, Oklahoma, where I'm from, and I did that until I was 12, and then somehow I ended up coming up here. So, do you like music or acting better? 
Um, well, right now I'm really into acting, but I think it would be cool to go back and do musical theater. Whenever I see, I just saw a play last week. Uh, I saw The Fiddler on the Roof, and it was just like I, every time you know I see a musical, I like I want to do that again. <laughs> so, like going into musicals, do you ever think about like do you write your own things and do you want to like go out and maybe like have a music career, or is it like? I just like to do what is already written. And yeah, I kind of like like musical theater. Perfect. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me about. Um, well, okay. I'm MrSusan.com. I myself am just an embarrassing person. Like everything I do is embarrassing. <laughs> so, what has been your most embarrassing moment? My most embarrassing moment. Um, I know I, I embarrass myself all the time. It's hard to say. Um, I don't know. I just. I honestly, I couldn't tell you. It's probably too, probably too embarrassing. <laughs> I just embarrass myself again. Yeah. Like, oh, well, yeah. At one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, we were talking about this. It's like whenever you have a question, like, well, "What's your most embarrassing moment?" and it's like really embarrassing, and you yeah. just don't want to. This is probably like, my new most embarrassing. You kind of like laugh it off. Mm -hmm. You're like, "Oh yeah, my most embarrassing moment." <laughs> Yeah, just like mm -hmm. pretend like it didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. yeah, so we're doing that right now. I, I never have, I never no, get embarrassed. Never. Nothing bad ever no. happened. <laughs> okay, well, staying so embarrassed. What's the most embarrassing song I like? Your iPod. The most embarrassing song. Um, well, obviously, you like it because it's on there. But if you were to tell people, like, what would you not admit that is on your iPod? I have, I have the um, the entire the Mamma Mia soundtrack. Which, well, I mean, like, I really me, and, me, and, I know, me and my friend, we uh, do mom me a karaoke, like, every time we're in the car together. It makes LA traffic so much better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for, I mean, obviously, what's, like, your movie of the summer this year? My movie of the summer? I saw this uh, really cool movie called Moon, and it's about, like, this guy who's um, on this, like, station on the moon, and he has, he has to, like, no, I, I don't want I don't want to like say anything about it because um, yeah because like when I went to see it all I knew it was about a man who lives on the moon and it's just it's like it's really cool it's like a surprise what what's going on <laughs> and so what has been the coolest thing that's happened to you since you've been out here like in LA the coolest thing um, uh, well like the first thing um, I guess the first like acting thing I did was on the show Gilmore Girls, and it was like my absolute favorite show at the time. So I was just like, it doesn't get any better than this. Like it's all downhill from here. That's funny. Yeah, it was it was cool. Just like like we did like homework and Luke's Diner and stuff, and I just thought I was Luke's just, Diner. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just really, that show. It was so like I have all eight yeah. seasons or nine mm -hmm. seasons on DVD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those times. <laughs> and now for I mean. What are like the plans that you have? Like, I mean, you may have your 16 years old. I mean, what do you, like, what do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, well, hopefully, still acting. I'd like to. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you have like a person that you want to act with, and is there like a dream producer or a dream uh, like yeah. lead male that you love to? <laughs> dream lead male. Yeah. Um, well, I am. Uh, I do love Daniel Radcliffe. He is pretty cute. <laughs> But um, I'd love to do something with uh, Jed Apatow and all them because I, I really, as a big fan of the show Freaks and Geeks and all the stuff, you know, movies and stuff they're doing right now. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome.